Well, hello, Mrs. Harmer here once again for a bit more Spanish. Now I can tell you're wondering, what is she wearing? Well, let me share the screen and then you'll know what I'm up to. Here we go then, let's share, share, share. I'm going to go like that and I'm going to share. Okay, so as you can see, today's lesson is called Que voy a llegar? What am I going to wear? So I just thought I'd get a bit dressed up just to get myself in the game, in the game. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, a bit from last time, okay, we're going to go, which is which? I have one, two, three, four, five, six names of garments here. And I would love you, looking at these pictures here, to turn to the person nearest you and figure out which one is which. I'm just going to give you a short moment to do that. I won't say a minute because it won't be that long. Okay, okay, I'm going to stop you there. We've just got to name the names. We've got lots to do today. I'm going to try not to talk too much because I want you to have lots of time to do the work that I'm setting you up to do. Okay, let's start with this one. Una falda. I wonder, could it be this? No, it can't because it's a singular word. So it can't be these either. <laughs> and it definitely can't be if it goes behind them. Could it be that? No, you're screaming. It is this one here. Una falda is a skirt. Okay, let's go. Let's move the garment. Could this be un vestido? No. Once again, it can't be unos zapatos because that means some something other. Okay, I'm just gonna pop it where it belongs. Yes, it is a coat. Un abrigo is a coat. You remember from that fantastic video last time. Okay, we're going to add some adjectives by the way, but not just yet. Okay, so now we've got, oh, there's two plurals here because both of these mean some. So, zapatos. What am I talking about here? Am I talking these or these? I'm actually talking, and I'm going to move these ones out of the way because I'm not talking those. Unos zapatos, some shoes. Okay, here we go then. These lovely things here. I feel like I need to move them right over here. So again, two plurals here, unos pantalones and unos calcetines. Come on, I'll do this quickly. I'll put you out of your misery. They are unos calcetines. So that means our last plural must, must belong to the trousers. Last item, here's our title. Un vestido. This is what goes with. I'm sure you had that completely down. Okay, let's add some adjectives. So I have rayados, rosado, rojos, negros y blancos, galantito y larga. And you can tell where these go according to what's on the end of some of them, okay? Because this one has to be a feminine adjective, okay? It's got an A at the end, so it has to go with the skirt. A skirt which is long, okay? Negros y blancos, now they have to go with something that is plural, because look, these are both plurals, plural and masculine. That's okay, everything, every other word here is a masculine word now. 
So there's two colors going on here, negros y blancos. Yes, I'm gonna move these over because it's actually talking about these, okay? So they are unos zapatos negros y blancos, okay? Let me move unos pantalones down. Okay, now we've got uh, another plural and another plural, okay? Which plural are we gonna go for first? I feel like we've gotta go for this one. Unos pantalones rojos, okay? Which means the last one has to go with these. Now you have remembered, and actually I'll translate them all in a minute, what rojos mean, haven't you? Yes, you might not remember what reados means, but you do remember what rojos means, don't you? So yes, Mrs. Harmer, we remember that totally. I'm gonna to put this one here, I mean, it might be this one, but I feel that this one best describes it and you'll see why in a minute. So this one is gonna go here. Let's go for a quick translate as we're going. So you remember that rojos mean red. So these are some red trousers, okay? Trousers there, red there. Or literally some trousers reds. These are some black and white shoes, okay? This one, this coat, galan, galantito, it's a warm coat, okay? Can't swap it for this one because this one means pink. This is a pink dress. It's very dark pink, but it's a pink dress. Uh, as I said, this is a long skirt and these, reados, they're stripy socks. Now, bear these adjectives in mind, and if you want to use them later, which you might do, you can rewind this and have a look at this slide to know what you're doing with this. But yeah, these are, this means stripy. Okay, let's move on. So today for you, which is what I'm wanting you to have lots of time for, I have done this beautiful sheet. I know how much last time you enjoyed drawing clothes on people. So I thought I'd give you another chance. It's very exciting, isn't it? But this time, not only are we going to draw the clothes on the people, we're going to use some adjectives to describe, okay? That's a bit later. Let me explain what I want you to do first. We're gonna go step by step because this does look quite a complicated sheet, doesn't it? Don't worry one thing at a time. So I'll go through it and then hopefully you'll have lots of time after watching me to do the do. First thing you're gonna do, this is why I've got number one here. This side, you are going to describe something that you wear in the weekdays very often. Yes, your uniform. Let me show you the next slide. So en escuela, ya vemos El uniforme. Oh, sorry, I forgot I was speaking Spanish there. But in school, we wear uniform, okay? Now, I have to tell you, in Spain, quite often, they don't wear uniform for school. It's, it's rarer over there than it is here. But here, en escuela, llevamos el uniforme. Para los niños. So, these are garments for boys. Para las niñas, these are garments for girls, okay? So what you're going to do on that first one on the left, the figure on the left in your sheet, is you are going to dress them in school uniform, okay? Uh, you might, and one has got to hope not that your picture will not end up looking like this, but this is just to illustrate the kind of thing that you're going to do with your picture. So once you've dressed your person, um, you're going to, oh, do you recognize anybody? Yes, he doesn't dress like that anymore, but you need to, when you've drawn your person, you need to label them like you did last time, okay? So that's thing one to do. 
Here we have a sweater and some shoes, shoes, and oh, he's modeling some lovely shorts. Okay, so that's thing one to do, dress your person and then label what they are wearing. And here, if you want to stop on this point when you're doing it, are all the things you're going to need to use. So if you're dressing uh, for a girl, la falda, el vestido, or it could be los pantalones or los pantalones cotas. All of you are going to need to use this one, la camiseta, the t-shirt, and probably el suéter, okay? Socks, shoes, okay? I haven't included las botas in this case, but you, you learned that word last time, so if you want to use that one, if you want to dress your person in boots, you can do. Okay, so that's thing one. Oh, look, I've already done mine. Los pantalones, el suéter. Okay, so label as much as you want before you move on to number two thing to do. Okay, over this side, this is para la escuela. This side, is para la casa, for home, okay? So again, this is your chance to dress a person. They're not very big, it won't take you very long. Um, so that's what you're doing. So we're gonna have a little test out to work out, <laughs> actually, this is a little outfit of mine that I wear at home. In casa, llevo uh, el suéter. So I would uh, draw a line at this point to here, okay. As you can see, I'm, I'm modeling this one, la bufanda, so I'll draw a line to my lovely scarf. It's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, el sombrero, here we go, is that one, and los pantalones is here. But look, I've got some adjectives that I can add to these. So I think I'd put this one, oh no, let's lose the right thing here, Mrs. Harmer. I think I'd put this one here, so it's el sombrero grande, the big hat. Um, I think I'd put this one, come on, word, oh, here we go, la bufanda larga, because as you can see, it's going to agree with the scarf. Um, and actually, this one has to come here because it's the only plural. So uh, I haven't got them on today. Uh, you can't see them anyway. But los pantalones amarillos, yellow trousers, super stylish, right? So this one has to go here. El suéter rojo. Okay, we're looking good. This is like, ah, my sense of fashion, it's amazing. I hope you're appreciating the joy that I'm sharing. Okay, so on your sheet, you will find lots of colors and various sizes, okay? Let me explain the code on the sheet. As you can see down here, this is my code. I have masculine, and feminine because as you know all Spanish words are split into the two masculine and feminine categories and then we have singular which means just one thing and plural which means more than one. If you want to talk about something that is green in the singular it is the same for masculine and feminine words okay so uh, if I wanted to say el sombrero Verde, I could do, that's fine. And if I wanted to say la camiseta verde, I can use the same word, okay? So it's the same for, for both singulars and it's the same for both plurals. If we go down to blue and gray, it's the same for both singulars and it's the same for both plurals. This is where it gets interesting. If you've got a masculine singular thing, which is red, it has to be rojo. And if you've got a feminine singular thing for something that is red, it has to be roja. This is 
all on your sheet, okay? So I'm gonna let you check out those, depending on which thing you're going to color what, you need to follow this code, but it's all on the sheet, it's not hard. And then we go to sizes, which for large, if you wanna say grande, it's the same for both singulars and it's the same for both plurals, but everything else follows the code. So this is masculine singular, this is a feminine singular, this is masculine plural, and this is feminine plural, okay? But it's all on the sheet, you cannot go wrong. So that's job two, draw your homeware and give it some adjectives. Let me move on to the next slide. Okay, we're gonna test this out now, just to make sure you can do this. So this says, llevo el vestido verde, los calcetines cortos y los zapatos rosados. What is this person going to be wearing? And I will show you in a minute, but have a little turn to the person nearest you and see if you, the two of you or the three of you can work out what is this person here wearing? Okay, now, I just thought I'd make it a little bigger so you can see it in all its glory. I hope you said, and I'm trying to find it, aha, ha, let's get this out of the suitcase. I hope you said that this person was wearing a green dress, el vestido verde. Now we're going to go, and I've got to get reached further down for this, is like a fashion item that is amazing. Let me just take these up here because to go with this green dress, it's rather attractive. Or maybe I'll move it up a little bit, otherwise, you're not going to see these. They're wearing los calcetines cortos. Okay, and they're going to look a little strange as I put them on. They're wearing short socks. And here we go, I'm wondering, oh, it's just one at a time. There we are, let's move there. They look a little like clogs, these things here, don't they? I hope you said that they're wearing pink shoes. Los zapatos rosados. Okay, what an outfit, amazing. Okay, so that's what you're going to do over here. Okay, you're going to give this some description and if you want to, if you've got time, you can add uh, adjectives over this side as well. Because now we're coming on to thing three, where you're going to do a little bit of writing. Okay, uh, so your first job with this is you're going to say whether you like the school outfit or the uh, homeware outfit. Let me show you what I mean. Your writing square may look like this, okay? So, this person has written, me gusta mi ropa para la escuela. Oh, I was not ready for that. Uh, llevo los pantalones grises y la camiseta blanca, okay? So they've said, I like my clothes for school. I'm wearing, uh, grey trousers and a, a white t-shirt. Or you might be someone who says something a bit more like this. Me gusta mi ropa para casa. Llevo los pantalones azules, los zapatos negros y la camiseta roja y blanca. Okay, so you might be someone who says, I like my clothes for home. I'm wearing blue trousers, black shoes, and a red and white t-shirt, okay? 
Okay, so your sheet in the end hopefully is going to look a bit like this. Um, like I say, work hard on it, guys. I'm trying to give you a lot of time with quite a complicated thing. Do your best. I know you always will. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the result of all these. Okay, so this one in the middle. Me gusta mi ropa para la casa. Llevo los pantalones azules y la camiseta roja y blanca. If it ends up like that, I will be very pleased. So at least two things pointed out on this and at least two things that you're deciding you like to wear and you need to make your choice. Are you going to like clothes for home or for school? Okay, I'm going to stop now. Let me stop sharing for one teeny moment and I'm going to say uh, hasta luego. See you later. Bye.